Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is the next video in the series. We are making personal expense management system. In this video, we will continue with the user interface. In the last video, we created two forms, categories and the budgets. If you haven't watched those videos, you should. In fact, you should watch all the videos in this series because you will get to know what exactly we are building. We will be learning, hopefully, we will be learning about the uh, usage of record sets, VBA, to create record, update record in this video. We will be learning about formatting a form and uh, moving the data from the form to the table using the VBA. So if you're interested, you must watch until the end for better learning experience. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. In any case, if you haven't subscribed, make sure yet that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. By the way, you can also, uh, instead of, uh, apart from subscribing, you can also uh, become a member of this channel to support me and my channel. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this form, any one of the form. Let's say copy this form and paste, and we will give the name expenses because this is what we are going to build today, expenses form. So I'm going to give expenses F, that's the form name. Hit enter. We have a new form called expenses F, but we need to do some modifications. So I'm going to right click here, go to design view, get rid of all these text boxes, and I'm going to go to the uh, VB editor because I want to um, remove the VBA code behind these two buttons for now. Okay, so that's done. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bound this form uh, to the correct table, which is expenses table. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a little bit. I'm going to increase the size of the form. And then I'm going to go to form design and I'm going to go to add existing fields. And in here, I'm going to add the fields one by one. And we'll do some modification in terms of uh, not modification, we'll do the formatting and I'm going to go and make it uh, full black. The font is Calibri and I'm going to right click, layout, and stack them. Hang on, before I do this stacking, let me just put these fields uh, where they belongs to. So let's make this in here. All right. So now I can layout stack and I'm going to go to arrange, control padding narrow and i'm going to do the same with these uh, text boxes so right click layout stack right click oh, sorry we'll go to arrange we'll go to the position and control padding to narrow and that's how we will do the formatting now we're not done yet we'll do a bit more formatting in fact i'm going to increase the width of these text boxes a little bit and the label as well so we can do some formatting here I'm going to move these uh, towards right side so I can increase the width of these text boxes. Okay. I'm going to increase the width of these labels as well. And I'm going to make them bold. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little bit more formatting. I'm going to give a little bit more space and user ID. Okay. For which, for which user the uh, expense is being created. Category. All right. Amount. What is the expense amount? and the expense date and the expense method and the status All right so let's now fix this because this has to be aligned as well so i'm selecting this we'll bring them here we'll make all these text boxes a little bigger or not this text box, this text box particularly so basically what we are doing here we are giving the ability to the user to actually write the reason of the expenses that has occurred well it is important right so if, if somebody have to review later on why this expense was occurred they can actually remind themselves by looking at the description so that's the idea okay so i think we are pretty much done in terms of formatting uh, but we will continue we'll like this description uh, label a little bit bold and some of the fields i will actually make them non-editable for example expense id Technically, user ID, we should also make non-editable, but right now, for the testing purpose, I'm going to keep it editable, um, but later we will make it non-editable, definitely. I'm going to make status as non-editable. So I'm going to right-click in here, we'll go to the properties, from the data tab, we'll say enable no, locked yes, and we'll make the color, uh, background color a little light dark, so the user would know that these are non-editable fields. However, I'm going to convert this category ID text box into a combo box, and right-click, change to combo box and then in here i will uh, assign a row source i'll click on dot 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 
and here we are in query builder i'm going to get the categories table and i'm going to get the fields category id category name and i'm going to close it and now i'm going to go to the property sheet of this combo box the columns are two right and zero one okay so that's done i think now we are done with the formatting of the form so if i will hang on not user form so we'll say manage expenses all right oops okay so we'll uh, right click we'll go to the form view and there it is okay these are non-editable we're getting the payment method we're getting the category and we are now ready to move on and do a vb coding behind these two buttons to create and update so right click design view and in here we will change the caption so we'll say create expense and we will change the caption update expense right and after that now we are going to actually uh, go to vb editor to do a vb coding so i'm going to select create expense button event tab on click event dot 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 code builder and in here i'm going to write some vba code now the idea is that we want to transfer the data from this form to this table this is where the data will reside and to do that we are going to use record sets uh, in vba which will help us to transfer the information from here to the database so to do that again i will uh, declare a variable so dim rs as record set and we will define that variable set rs equals current db dot open record set pnc open pnc close and double quote double quote and in here we will type in the record set name record set simply is table or query the name of this so expenses t that's the expenses t that's the name of record set after this we are going to open the record set in the background so we'll say rs dot add new and then we will update the record so rs dot update once we have done that we will say rs dot close and then set rs equals nothing all right so this is important but with this these lines of lines of code the data will not be transferred we have to actually refer to these fields to transfer the data so let's go ahead and do that so first of all i'm going to get user id and i'm i'm going to say rss question mark user id is equal to me dot user id then i'm going to copy category id so rss question mark category id equals to me dot me dot category dot id dot column my keyboard is acting weird amount so rs exclamation mark amount equals to me dot amount and rs description equals me dot description and then expense state rs exclamation mark expense state equals me dot expense state then we have payment method rs exclamation mark payment method me dot payment method then we have status so rs exclamation mark status equals me dot status now before we go ahead and do anything i'm going to define what is the status me dot status equals active okay once that is done um because this is going to be unburned form so this means the expense id will not be populated automatically we have to basically go back to the table after updating the record and we have to fetch the latest id that is created in the table and present it on the form now this is going to be achieved using a dmax function so we'll say me dot uh, expense id equals dmax parenthesis open parenthesis close and in here we will give a reference of the um, field which is expense id and then we will also tell where this field is located so it is located in this record set or this table that's about it so we will get the uh, reference number of the expense now after we have done that we will uh, give a beep response and we will say message box the expense has been created all right comma and we be information comma information okay so that's done i think we are done with the vb code to create a record a new record in the table now we will move to update the record so i'm going to select update expense button i'm going to go to event tab on click event dot 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 code builder and now here we are back to vb editor now to do the updation in the record you can either use sql you can use record set i'm going to use record sets uh, as well for this now to do that i'm going to declare another variable dim rs update as record set 
and then we'll say set rs update equals current db dot open record set print open print close double quote double quote and then we will give reference of the table which is expenses t i'm going to copy and paste and this time we are going to add a type which is going to be db open dyna set remember this this is very important this is not added into this statement because this statement is used to create a new record but this statement statement is going to be used to actually update the record so that's why db open dyna set will be used another thing another difference will be we have to make sure that we identify the record from a record set because this table may have hundreds and thousands of lines we have to point out the correct record that we are searching for so we can update that record particularly to do that i'm going to say rs update dot find first double quote double quote and in here we will give the name of the field so we'll say expense id equals ampersand me dot expense id we will have this record so no need to actually say if find if found the record if record is found if not found we don't have to do that we will move on and we will say rs update dot edit remember we are editing record and then rs update dot update and then we are going to close rs update dot close and then we are going to say set rs update equals nothing okay so that is done now in here we have to provide a uh, code here so rather than i type again i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste in here but in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to change a little bit so instead of just rs rs update that will be the replacement we can actually get rid of me dot status and we'll come here once this is done we will actually go ahead and give a message box so i'm going to copy the message box as well okay the expense has been updated i think our code is done for creation and updation now it's time to do the testing whether this code actually works or not so let's close it let's close this and let's go to the form view right so let's give a user id let's say user id okay how many users we have user 2 and user 3 so let's start with user 3 so we'll go to the form view we'll give a user right now we are giving manual user oh, oh i forgot this one thing this form is still bound form that's why you know you have seen the moment i have entered 3 in this text box it created a new record that's why i don't like bound form i make them unbound and i literally forgot to make them unbound and i will remove this also now it is unbound now if i will type anything oops not this in here if i type 3 nothing will happen uh, category transportation amount let's say okay another thing i forgot apologies for that <laughs> let's go back this happens amount would be let's say 122 dollars uh, the reason of expense will be the expense occurred due to official trip okay something like that and the expense date let's say today payment method let's say cash now let's create expense and we have an error let's see what is the error and okay our status okay i know what exactly is this i don't know why this happens but let's say i'm assuming right now okay so we'll go to expenses table and here we go this happens like se second time right i have no idea how come the date and time is the data type for status i have no idea okay so we will go back and we will have another try and now we can see expense has been created now let's create another expense and this time we will have user id 2 we'll have category is only one so transportation and we'll have 154 dollars description uh, goods transportation from a warehouse let's say all right then we'll have uh, expense date let's say third payment method card and we'll create expense so this is created now if we will go to the table we have two records successfully created 122 dollars 144 and now if i will go back and update we have to check our update button as well right so if we will instead of 154 i'll say actually it was 172 dollars and now i update and now if we will go to the table again and rest assured it is updated in the table as well so this is what i wanted to demonstrate um, in this video if you have learned something 
great if uh, you can tell me in the comments below what exactly did you learn and if you like whatever you have seen smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you have not and become a member to support me and support this channel thank you very much for always supporting and i will see you in the next one